What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. Today we're going to be taking you through a virtual tour of a Skyline Sunset Ridge manufactured home. This is a beautiful home. It's a front loader. If you're new to the channel, we premiere new and pre-owned manufactured mobile homes and tiny home tours on a weekly basis. You're going to love these tours that are coming your way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we premiere new videos. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this Silvercrest Sunset Ridge. I'm sorry, this is not a Silvercrest. This is a Skyline. Silvercrest is another great manufacturer. This is Skyline's Sunset Ridge K539G. It's a just under 1500 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. This is a multi-section home, double wide. We also build single wides and triple wide. So let's go take a look. As you can see, this home right here is a front loader. Let me minimize this and move this out of your way. A front loader where you have the kitchen, dining room, living room, and all the bedrooms are in the back. Okay, they call this a front loader. Um, we also do split floor plans. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to see all the tours that we bring your way. Now let's go take a look at this home. They really did a great job. Check out this kitchen. This is a great size kitchen in the dining area. I love the nine foot flat ceilings. It really brings up the side walls, making a larger area living area it makes it feel much larger inside and right here behind me now here is where the living room is and as you can see they added this coffer ceiling with crown molding i love it you can even do these are square corners but you can do cut corners so you have a couple different options you have very similar options in a manufactured home that you have when building a custom site built home so keep that in mind. Skyline has been around for decades. They are one of the best and most prominent manufacturers in the Western United States. They do have manufacturers nationwide, but let's go over some of the options that they've included here. They've included the crown molding. I like that we have this pantry right here, it's uh, a lot of times because you have limited space, we don't have enough room for a pantry. But in this case, they were able to add this pantry, a very nice, large, check out how large this kitchen island is. It has a breakfast bar. You could probably fit three to four people at this breakfast bar. Over here on the side, you can see that they added some uh, storage space here. So you do have some shelving. It could be decorative shelving or you could put pots and pans or some, a lot of times I see like plants or bowls or something decorative here, but you can get a good idea of how large this breakfast bar is. I love it. They added these pennant lights. I love pennant lights. If you add a kitchen option, I'm sorry, if you add the kitchen island option to your home, make sure you add a breakfast bar. Not all the kitchen islands have a breakfast bar and the pennant lights. Okay, make sure you add the pennant lights on top. It makes the home look that much better. It's gonna hold your resale value. It's gonna be a lot easier to sell later on down the line. As you can see, they have these really nice hardwood kitchen cabinets. Again, Silver Skyline has been around for a very long time, so they're state of the art. They know what buyers want. They've really done a great job with evolving over the years and bringing options that all these developers do. You could see the stainless steel appliance packages. You can choose from different appliance colors. Typically, you have black, stainless steel, and white. Um, but again, all manufacturers offer something different. Over here, let's uh, look at, ooh, that was hidden behind there. Look at this farmhouse sink. Now this is a stainless steel farmhouse sink um, with the gooseneck faucet and sprayer. Always, even if you don't go with a farmhouse sink, you go with the standard stainless steel sink. 
then make sure you option in a gooseneck faucet with sprayer. I promise you, for how much it costs, you're going to get the value out of it. Okay, that's one of the... If, if you don't go with any options in the interior, you go with a very entry level model, base level, just option in this gooseneck faucet. You're going to appreciate it and thank me later. And another great thing about having a kitchen island is check out all this storage and cabinet space and drawer space that you have. Okay, that's a lot of, that's value added. Over here you can see you have these pull out drawers more cabinet doors over here and up at the top. Okay, these countertops look like they're probably, they're either a Corian, like a Gibraltar solid surface or granite. And you could see that they went with a four or six inch backsplash matching the countertops. On the backsplash, you have a lot of different, you have different options you could choose from tile, mosaic tile backsplash you can have it go all the way to the cabinets or you may just like having the four or six inch backsplash they even look at this they even added it on the windowsill so those little touches really do make a huge difference in looking like a home rather than a trailer so tell us what you think of this kitchen you have the nice dining room great layout this is a popular floor plan so tell us what you think in the comment section of this kitchen and front load home now we're going to make our way to the back here here this is a great size hallway now wait before i keep moving check out this flooring i really like these colors it's nice and light it opens everything up it's a little bit distressed it's not going to show your scuff marks or dirt as easily. So I really like this flooring. Flooring, you do have just a few options, so they keep it simple. But you can always omit flooring. If you have a flooring company that uh, you have a relationship with, or maybe your MH expert has a relationship with a flooring company, you can always omit the flooring and put aftermarket flooring in it. Okay, so don't don't feel that you're stuck with something. You do have options and you can omit things. We went with they went with the linoleum here in this wet area. This is the utility room. It's a very nice linoleum. You could see it has um, some grain to it, right? It has some texture to it. So it's also it's much more durable today than the lino you know, 15, 20 years ago. It's thicker and a lot more durable. So if you're worried about the linoleum getting uh, scuff marks or, you know, getting sliced or anything like that, I've, I've never had that happen. I've been selling manufactured housing for almost 20 years. Now let's get inside here. You can see that's a very nice, that's a pretty standard uh, utility exterior door. You actually have blinds. So there's a lever right here, or a sliding thing that you could slide and it will open and close the blind so you can still get your privacy. Um, they didn't go all the way in here, but now you can check out, they did add the overhead cabinets with the hanger, the rod down the middle. So you, have, you can add all cabinets in this space, or you could do it exactly like this, or if you don't need cabinet space, you could just have a shelf with a rod for hanging your clothes. But right in this area, you could fit a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Now, here's a tip. Make sure if you take anything away from this video, it's add this door as an option. The furnace is right behind here. Without this door, the furnace, you're gonna be able to hear it while you're watching TV. So add a door over the furnace and then always option in if you can option in the door going to the utility room in the hallway all right so here's the guest bathroom now this is your standard guest bathroom with a one sink and then a tub shower combo this window above the shower is an option so make sure you have your mh expert add a window above the shower in the guest bathroom. Otherwise, it allows a lot of natural light. 
okay, and always put a light over the shower. Now we could go inside here. Now, nope, there's no light bulbs in there, but you have, this is the vanity light, okay? So you have different options of vanity lighting that you get to choose from. Not all manufacturers add this right here, this medicine cabinet. Not all manufacturers add this medicine cabinet. So I always recommend optioning in the medicine cabinet, okay? Now these are all just tips when, you know, my customers haven't added certain things. They're a little bit, they wish they had. I wanna make sure when you order a new home that you do not have any regrets. They added the wood window sills. That looks very nice. It's a nice touch. Carpeted bedrooms. I like carpeted bedrooms or sometimes, you know, one of the new trends right now is everybody just going laminate throughout um, and then putting rugs in different areas. Right here, you have these sliding wardrobe doors. A trick, if you wanna make a bedroom feel a little bit larger, then you can add a mere wardrobe sliding door right in this, you know, which it opens up the room, which is very nice. It's a very affordable option. Now let's go into bedroom number three. Look how big this is. You can fit a queen, possibly a king size bed in this room, no problem. Again, you can option in the mirror wardrobe doors it will open everything up but as you can see in these bedrooms you could tell these bedrooms feel a lot larger because of the nine foot flat ceilings when you have your cathedral ceilings you have your side walls that are a little bit lower so in the in like the main living areas a cathedral ceiling feels much larger but then when you get into the bedrooms because of the side walls they could feel a little bit smaller over here we have a closet. This is a closet door for your coat closet, I should say, or a linen closet. And now we're going into the master bedroom. Very nice sized master bedroom. This is a walk-in closet here, but you could fit a king size bed, a flat screen TV, Look, you can easily put a flat screen TV on this wall. It's not gonna get into the way. You could put a dresser, your two nightstands. So this is a good size bedroom for your master. And let's get into this corner here and see what it shows us. There we go. Take a look at that. This is a very nice, bathroom so we're almost finished with oh my gosh okay this master bathroom is beautiful i would change to different pennant lights but or vanity lights but that's my opinion these they, they're missing the light bulbs but you do have different options these aren't my favorite and these are laminate countertops okay so if you're looking to save some money look how nice these laminate countertops look they did a great job. And here is a walk-in tile shower. So what a beautiful shower, a very large window. There's a lot of natural light in this bathroom. You have another closet there. So you got plenty of closet space. You have a closet space in the bedroom and now you have closet space in the bathroom. And I love it. The poop room is a separate room. There's a door for your privacy. So thank you very much for watching this edition to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. You could contact us at Manufactured Housing Expert or click any of the links in the description. We're here to help educate you on new and pre-owned manufactured homes, mobile homes, and tiny homes. We hope you enjoyed this video and we appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. Thank you very much.